Welcome to our brand new series, Yoga on Radio, a program that presents yoga as a way of living that aims towards a healthy mind in a healthy body. Rejuvenate and energize yourself with Yoga Charya, Dr. Surakshit Goswami, who in his scripts vividly describes the art of practicing yoga. We have with us Ms. Ruchi Pathania and Mr. Sunit Tandon for the presentation. Listeners, today we will practice Setu Bandhasana. Setu Bandh or bridge pose gets its name from the Sanskrit words Setu which means bridge, Bandha which means lock and Asana which means pose. This pose resembles the structure of a bridge and therefore it is named as such. This pose stretches your back, neck and chest and relaxes your body. It is an excellent asana to keep diabetes under control. Doing Setu Baddhasana regularly boosts the functioning of the thyroid gland and keeps the lungs and heart healthy. The asana also strengthens the back muscles, knees, legs, neck and chest, relaxes the whole body, reduces stress, calms the brain and reduces anxiety. The asana is good for pregnant women. Besides improving digestion, the asana also cures back pain and insomnia. Setu Bandhasana maintains normal blood pressure and improves blood circulation. Precaution Avoid Setu Bandhasana if you are suffering from pain or cervical spondylitis. This asana pose resembles a bridge, hence the name Setu Bandha Asana. Lie on your back, bend your legs at the knees, keeping the heels as close as possible to the hips. Hold your ankles with your hands if possible, or else place your palms on the floor beside your hips. Inhale and lift up your back and hips very slowly and smoothly so that your chin touches your chest. Keep your shoulders and heels planted on the ground. Close your eyes and focus on your heart. Hold this posture for as long as possible while breathing normally. Return to the original position very slowly and relax. Repeat this asana three times. Mm -hmm. 